A minimum spanning tree is a subset of a graph that connects all the vertices with the minimum possible total edge weight. It ensures the graph remains connected and contains no cycles. Now, let's find the minimum spanning tree for this example graph using Prim's algorithm. We'll start by selecting a vertex and progressively add edges with the smallest weights while ensuring the graph remains connected and cycle-free. Let's begin with node A. From here, we examine all the edges connected to A and select the one with the smallest weight to include in our tree. We can use a priority queue to store the edges, allowing us to quickly retrieve the edge with the minimum weight. Here, the edge AB has the minimum weight of 2, so we add this edge to our spanning tree. Next, we examine all the edges connected to node B to continue building the tree. Now, among all the highlighted edges, we select the one with the minimum cost. In this case, it's the edge BD with a weight of 2, so we add this edge to our spanning tree. Next, we examine all the edges connected to node D and once again select the edge with the minimum weight. Here, we choose the edge DC with a weight of 1 and add it to our spanning tree. Now, we again select the edge with the minimum weight. Here, it's the edge AF with a weight of 3, so we add it to our spanning tree. With this addition, all the nodes are now connected and the algorithm stops. Now, we are left with the minimum spanning tree. Here's an interesting observation. In any minimum spanning tree, there will always be exactly V minus 1 edges, where V is the number of vertices in the graph. This is because if there were fewer edges, the graph would be disconnected, and if there were more, it would form cycles, which is not allowed in a tree. Let's look at the Python code for this algorithm. First, we import the heap queue module, which helps us implement the priority queue. Then we define the function, which takes the graph and the starting node as input parameters. Then we initialize some variables to work with. First, a priority queue to store edges, a set named visited to store the visited nodes, MST edges to store the edges that will be part of the minimum spanning tree, and the total cost variable to store the total cost of the minimum spanning tree. Then we add the starting node to the visited set and push its neighboring edges along with their weights onto the priority queue. This assumes the graph is stored in an adjacency list. Then, as long as the priority queue is not empty, we pop the element with the lowest weight and check if the node is already in the visited set. If not, we add it to the visited set, add the edge to the minimum spanning tree, update the total cost, and push all the edges connected to the current node onto the priority queue. And finally, we return the edges and the total cost of the minimum spanning tree. Check out the link in the description for the GitHub link to the full code. Now, iterating over all the edges is of the order big O of E, and every edge can be pushed into the priority queue almost once. Each push operation takes logarithmic time, so the total time complexity will be big O of E log V. The graph takes big O of V plus E space as it is stored in an adjacency list. The visited set takes big O of V space because it stores at most V vertices. The priority queue takes big O of E space as it may hold up to E edges during the execution. The edge list for the minimum spanning tree takes big O of V space. Hence, the total space complexity is big O of V plus E.